today we're going to be making a video inspired by Claude Monet's lilies and flowers. Um, here you can see a picture of his one of his famous paintings, and I was inspired by the, the watercolor and then the different flowers in the water and the bridge overhead. So we're going to use this kind of as our um, thing to go by for our next little artwork. So what we need is some crayons and markers, and then we're going to need a little bit of water and um, a paper towel to dab our paper. So we're going to start out with a bridge, and I'm going to use the color purple. You can make it any different color you'd like, but I'm going to try to use colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So I'm going to be using a lot of greens, blues, and reds, maybe add a little yellow to it. All right, so we start making the bridge, and we're going to go up and down. You want to go about to the middle of your paper. So this is the middle of my paper here, and I'm going to arc up, and that's about the middle, and then arc back down on the other side. Okay, I'm then going to make it follow that line and go again. This is the ground of our bridge. And we're going to color in nice and dark. Okay, after we color our bridge in here, we're then going to follow the line with the top, to the top of our bridge where the handle is, where you'd hold your hand. And kind of make it nice and thick. We're not making it as thick as the ground one, it's going to be a little bit thinner. So we're going to go in here, go like that. Then we're going to draw the little bars that connect here. And now it's starting to really look like a bridge, a nice arched bridge. All right, the next step is we're going to get some green. So find a green crayon. We want to know where our ground line is. So we're just going to do a little bit in here green and a little bit here. It's mostly going to be um, lilies underneath here. There's only a little bit of ground line. So we just come in a little bit, maybe about the size of like a fingernail. And then we're going to kind of go to the corner of our paper down here and make almost like a triangle. And we're going to kind of go like this, like it's grass. Fill it in with some, some nice green color. Come down here, go to the corner. These little strokes to fill it in like grass. So it's got this nice, beautiful color. All right, the next thing is we're going to get a blue color. We're going to go like this and make some water lines. And we might just do a few, not too many, to give the idea of water. We're going to be going back in here later with our watercolor markers, and that's what's going to be kind of changing the color. Now let's do some of our trees in the sky. So with our trees, we're going to do kind of like a weeping willow tree. So you're going to start here and you arc up and then you go down and you kind of flick your wrist like that. Arc up, flick our wrist down, arc up, flick our wrist. And it's okay if we're going over the bridge. We're going to do a bunch of lines like these. But you can even just do some straight ones and you go up, down, flick your wrist, up, down, flick your wrist. So that's on one side. Now up, down, flick my wrist. Okay, we're going on the other side. And sometimes it's funny when you draw on one side, it looks different than the other side, but that's okay. Doing some nice, good trees. So now we have kind of our trees here. Maybe I'll bring it down a little further so it kind of looks like it's going into the grass and just draw some straight lines like that. All right, our next step is we're going to draw little flowers. Um, you can draw your flowers however you'd like. I normally like to put them on lily pads, but they don't have to be on lily pads. And I'm going to use some different colors. I'm going to also use white in here to see how that works. Um, so I'll start with my purple. I'm going to go kind of in a circular shape here and fill it in nice and strong. Another circular shape, maybe a little ovally different like that. And stop, I'm filling it in with nice colors. So maybe over here, I'm going to go in here. And um, I'm going to get my yellow and put a nice little center. And maybe that's what I can do. I can just draw some centers if I want yellow centers. Draw them around the water like this. And I'm going to go back to them with my colors. And... You can do different types of flowers. They can have petals. They can have circular shapes. Whatever you would like to do. But fill them in nice and strong. So we're going to be doing watercolor on top of them. I'm going to get a red and try a different one. This one's just kind of like a scrabbly one where I go in circles. It's like spiral, spiral, spiral in a circle. Kind of looks like that. Again, I'm just going spiraling in a circle to kind of fill in these last ones nice and quick. All right. Now let me get my green. I'm going to put them kind of on lily pads. And you could just even do leaves out the side like this if you like. You could do them however you want. You can do them like an upside down U shape. Um, normally a lily pad looks something like that. 
So here I just put a lily pad without anything. Um, but the flower's on top of it, so you can't see the whole lily pad. Do the best you can with the shape. All right, so now after I do that, I'm pretty much done with my um, crayon. So now I'm going to go in and do the water. So with the water, you're going to get your um, blue marker. And I'm kind of going in the direction like water like this. I'm going to try to avoid going over my flowers, but I want to go right up to them. And if you go on them, it's, look, it's okay because, see, um, the crayon acts as a, a resist because it has wax in it, and it's not going to let you change the color of that flower. So I'm just going to come in here and go ahead and fill this whole thing up with water. And, again, I'm trying to either go in straight lines or squiggle my hand a little bit to get the idea that it is water itself. So go ahead and fill in this whole area. Nice, good blue. We don't want it solid, but we want it filled. There is going to be some white spaces. And again, do it like this. It's like whisking your hands. So it looks like it's water. I'm also going to add just a little bit of yellow because a lot of times the sun shines into the water. And so you would actually have some different colors other than just blue. So I'm going to try to fill it in with blue. And then I might even go in with a little bit of orange, just a little, just a little, here and there, here and there, not too much, not too much. Okay, but mostly I want it blue. All right, and then the next step is we got to do our trees. So we're going to get our green, and I'm going to start just kind of doing these little wispy things down like this. So now it looks like, this is really looking like a weeping willow, it's hanging downward its leaves. And you're going to try to go on the lines you made, but notice I'm not really following that. I'm just doing the best I can. So I go in here and add these different colors. Okay, I'm going all over each side, back and forth. Okay, so the next step is we're going to get our paper towel. We're going to get it wet with some water. And whenever you get your, mine's just regular computer paper, wet you just got to be careful that it doesn't rip so you got to be very careful when you do this so i'm going to take this and i'm just going to start blotting it and going kind of in a water motion it's going to start blending all these colors together but you'll notice it's going to keep the flowers itself from blending and it takes some time and you'll start to see it go. Now, it's starting to turn my paper towel in the into a color, and we want that color. So just keep going. And again, don't do it too hard because you don't want it to um, to blend, um, to rip your paper. But if you lift your paper up sometimes, you can see it got on the counter a little bit. That's okay. It's actually going to help make it um, kind of blend into itself too. Now I'm going to take this part, and I'm going to go into my sky here, and I'm going to use it to paint with it to give it a light blue color in the sky. Kind of going around here. And again, just kind of patting it in. And if you didn't use enough color, you can add a little bit more color to this. And again, you can just bring it up into the sky. And if you want to go into the background and add a little more. Now notice I'm not rubbing up here because then it's going to get rid of the leaves. But it's okay to kind of do this like sponge, up, down, up, down, up, down sponge technique. And if it's not working so well, and you don't get too much in the sky, you can always just go like this and color your paper towel. And get a little more water. And then I squeeze it over my cup. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. So now it's dark blue. And look, I'm just kind of like sponging up, down, up, down. And again, you got to be really careful with this because we don't want it to rip. All right. That's it. Hope you like this little art experiment. And if you do, please like and subscribe. See you guys soon. Thanks. All right, so we can just leave our bridge like this, or we can go in with one more little step, and you can get either a dark blue or a black crayon. And I like to just go in and draw like a line on each side, the left side of my bridge here for each of like the little pillars that come up here. And then we're going to connect this to the front and this. This just helps that so we take this left one and connect it and stop. We don't want to cut through the pillar there. So it's almost like you're making a backwards letter L. And it just helps make your bridge stand out a little bit more. And then you can also just do one across.
broth, I'm kind of picking up and putting down my pencil. The top two, picking up, putting down, picking up, putting down. So it just helps make this pop up just a little bit more so you get a little bit more um, of the bridge effect. All right, thanks, bye.